Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's been a while since I've been on, and so I thought I'd just come down to the lake today and just explain what's going on so you guys um, can have a look at this gorgeous lake that's only about five minute drive from my house. Um, this is called Berenbar Wetlands. And of an afternoon, over here on this rock, we get about 15 pelicans, all the ibises, all the ibises come and invade this island here. And there's all ducks and there's turtles, there's swans here. We have a huge menagerie, <laughs> menagerie of animals that do come here. Um, it's very tranquil, very calming. Um, as you all know, I've had major dental surgery and that's why no one's seeing me today. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, you won't be seeing me for at least another week or two until I get my health sorted out. Because on top of this, I've now also got the flu. Um, yeah. So, double whammy. So, what I want to talk about today is I just let you just have a little, little zoom around of what it looks like here in Australia. We have the gum tree here next to me that goes up and we have all the birds and stuff that nest in these and we've got more like I'm on a little pontoon here um so it goes out so you can look over the lake and I want to talk today about signs and attacks so we've got to differentiate what is an attack when someone is psychically or energetically attacking us and what are the signs from the universe that are trying to tell us things as well how do we differentiate? So basically, I'll tell you what's happened with me, is I'm getting a huge sign from the universe to slow down. Um, so I'm not on top of having all this teeth issue, sorry, which I don't really like talking about it because it's private health stuff. But on the top of that, I've now also got the flu. So I've had to shut down virtually everything I'm doing, just look after my health, stop talking which as many of you know, I don't, I don't stop talking ever. So this is the universe really telling me to slow down, take stock of who I am and where I am. Or is this a psychic attack? Because, you know, there's haters everywhere at this point. There's always gonna be someone who judges, accuses, puts you down, makes you feel worthless. And it's when we say no to those people and most of them are cowards. I will go there. Most of these online attacks that we get or stalker types and stuff that we get in our lives, they're gutless. They're absolute cowards. They send out all this negative energy that affects us if, it, if we allow it, correct? And then what happens is they sit there and glorify thinking that they have won the battle because that's how they attack because they play coward. And I don't play games. I'm always up front and that's why I'm telling you guys that I've got health issues. So you understand that I'm trying to be as legitimate and truthful and honest with what I do. So when you go out there and you're looking at who your friends are and people that you listen to, try and listen to the ones who are genuine and honest. Like, yeah, we've all got histories. We've all got things that we do in our lives. You know, we've all got secrets. Um, idiosyncrasies etc but it's when you sit there and you say am I trying my best and am I doing what I can to help others and I'm gonna go there and just say it I try my best to help as many as I can you know I really do try my best to help that's a crow by the way flying through there now oh, I've got some more crows um, so we've got to just look at ourselves and say when these people attack us like a psychic attack or a vampire you know we get energy vampires that come around do we allow these things in our lives now that's not a crow that's actually a duck or something swimming through there now isn't it gorgeous um we've got to look at where we are as a person and are we going to allow ourselves to be affected by what they're doing now when we get signs from the universe i try my best as a human to always abide by what they want me to do because I try and have the highest integrity that I can possibly have 
Um, which, hello, some people say, yes, I want to be that person too. And other people say, stop that. Um, I'll go out and just do what I want. Thank you. Because we all have our own prerogative of what we do in our life. And at the end of the day, we've really got to sit there and say to ourselves, do we need other people to tell us ultimately what we want to do? You know, today is the first day in about three weeks that I've actually, <laughs> I'll be honest, three weeks and I haven't left the house because I've been really not well. And I am so honoured that I get to share today with you. Why? Do I know you personally? Maybe I do. Maybe you're a total stranger to me just watching me on YouTube. I don't know. But I'm trying my best to make you guys feel comfortable, wanted, appreciated, and most of all, loved. And that's why I'm sharing this with you today. My lake, where I like coming, you know, bloody crow. <laughs> Um, so please know guys I am not well please be patient for more uploads because I do have a lot of videos that I want to do when I get my health back hopefully in the next few days and on a final note just look at yourself and you say to yourself if I am getting attacked what am I doing to safeguard that what protection grounding or other tools am I putting into place where these people do not affect me. Because ultimately, there are people out there who really do want to bring us down. And I, for one, am not going to let them. And I, for one, don't want it to ever happen to you as well. So, thank you so much for watching today. I'm at the lake here at Barren Bar in Brisbane, Queensland. It's down in Logan, just south of Brisbane. I only live about five minute drive away. So I like coming here. Um, I wish I had more pelicans and ducks and swans to show you. But at least look how calm and tranquil this is here today. And there's nobody else here. And, you know, it's virtually my lake to here today. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And on that note, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.